Now the latest developments in North Providence's corruption crackdown. Today, the third and final town councilman accused of bribery and extortion was sentenced in federal court. John Zamperano is going to spend five years and 11 months behind bars, along with his co-conspirators, Joseph Birchfield, who got five years and four months, and Raymond Douglas III, who was sentenced to six and a half years behind bars. Iowa to Sioux reporter Catherine Sotnick has been following this story all day. She joins us now live in the capital city with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike John Zambrano did apologize here today in federal court in a very brief statement, but in the end, the judge did not sympathize with him and called his actions, quote, a horrible betrayal of the public trust. Do you think it was a fair sentence? Fair. Former town councilman John Zambrano walks out of court silent after he was sentenced to about six years behind bars. Judge Mary Lisi calling him, quote, an enthusiastic participant who cared little for the people he served. The prosecution also calling him arrogant, power hungry, and a greedy pig. It is a very, very severe sentence. Mr. Zambrano understands how serious this event is. He accepts responsibility and he's prepared to move forward with his life. We can now stand here today and say that justice has been swift and it has been sure. The U.S. Attorney's Office Monday commending the sentences handed down over the past two days. No Council no President comment. Joseph Birchfield, no former Councilman Raymond Douglas, and middleman Dennis Mondi all sentenced. The councilman admitted to taking bribes in exchange for favorable zoning and licensing changes. The illegal acts of Mr. Zambrano, Mr. Douglas, Mr. Birchfield, and Mr. Raimondi came at the expense of other business owners in North Providence who do play by the rules. And U.S. Attorney Peter Narona at this point will not comment on whether or not there could be any more indictments in the case, but he says the investigation is still open. Reporting live tonight outside of federal court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.